What is up everybody? Today we have a pair, another pair of low heat, would have been high heat uh, a couple years ago, but as things go today, they are low heat. I am way behind on this video. And so if you happen to be watching this, there's so many videos on this pair of shoes. If you happen to be watching this, I really appreciate you. Thanks for messing with me. And to just switch it up from all the other videos, we'll do a little pre uh, bonus unboxing. Um, so if you don't wanna see what I copped off the first week Supreme drop, just scrub ahead and uh yeah skip to the unboxing if that's what you're here for appreciate that so first what i copped i think this was week one uh 2024 spring summer drop i copped some of these uh supreme jeans uh, black light wash jeans um they're they're not like uh they're not tapered they're kind of they're like pseudo wide leg they're not like true wide they're, they're borderline wide leg but um yeah uh they run in my opinion maybe i'm just fat uh, just a teensy, uh, big, but I think I'm just fat. So, uh, just FYI. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, in that pack, I see it came in a soft pack. I ripped open, saved you uh, a couple seconds of me opening that. Came with some stickers in that soft pack. And then what else did I get? And, um, this one, they I think, feel like they've given out these mini, this mini box logo. They've done that before. So that's like a repeat, uh, repeat logo and then there's this sticker i have so many supreme stickers it's actually i kind of have a nice collection recent era stuff not old school uh supreme stuff i'm just like all the modern day hype beasts I wasn't really into supreme like in my, in my defense i'm a boomer so like trust me i was i was around and living when supreme got started i just was like it's more into the ccs supreme stuff i'm not supreme stuff skate stuff so that's you know uh, yeah also i got this little uh keychain clip that's cool what is this uh oh, no a carabiner i got the gold one this is dope hmm. is that uh yeah delta carabiner that's cool if you in the comments if you know how this functions let me know uh brass uh brass made hmm that's cool. Anyways, a little carabiner clip. I'll put my keys on that maybe. Or uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna use it, I'm not gonna just save it, so. Uh, and then I have another, here we go, another quick quick unboxing, a Supreme unboxing. I cop this, I like, well, I don't as much anymore. Um, it's not my style aesthetic, it's not quite as cool as it used to be, but I liked copying Supreme, not housewares, but containers, storage stuff, you know? Just like, in my opinion, I'm of the age where you buy things once, pay a little more money, buy things once, and that will last you, that like look good, etc. And obviously Supreme might not be <laughs> the interior decorating aesthetic of a grown adult man, but you know, down the line, if I want to get rid of it, it'll have some resale value rather than just go, you know, trash it or Goodwill. Uh, on another hand, it's a headache to sell down the line. So it depends on how you look at it. Like on one hand, it's like, ah, oh, damn it, this has some value. I don't want to just trash it. But again, I sometimes like I look at all this junk, you know, people have, I have, and it's just like goes like it's just cheaply made, and it just goes to, um, you know, just gets given away, tossed, goes to a landfill. And so sometimes I like spend a little bit more money on this stuff, uh, even though you can get it cheaper, because uh, it maintains some value. So, I don't know, my two cents on that. So what do we got here? We got the Mac tote tray, Mac tools tote tray. And I think, what was the upcharge on this? I think you could get these what, for what, 50 bucks? And it was, or a little 60 bucks? And they, they charged, I think 100, like 100% 100 markup on this? I think it was like 100. And I think you can get these in general for like 55 60 so quite the markup but this is a sturdy tool tool chest now you might ask oh do you uh do a lot of do you have a lot of tools do you have do home repair do you are you handy no not at all definitely not but when i do get you know some tools i can throw it in this thing and this will look cooler than your neighbor's mac tools Mac tool toolbox, right? Or it'll look more ridiculous. I don't know. 
<laughs> they, yeah, your neighbor's gonna be super jealous of me because they just have the have the uh, the one for the regular folk, and I have the hype one. I'm gonna be stunting on them in my garage. Okay, yeah, I just like containers in crap that's uh, you know either well made, looks dope, cool brand, whatever, and this uh, or you know in this case a collab. You can't even buy a normal toolbox if you're hype hype beast. It has to be a collab. I'm a sad, sad little man, I know. Don't don't, don't comment. While you're commenting, though, uh, please subscribe. If you're going to comment, uh, please subscribe. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's kind of dope. Hope you like it, too. And now we're on to the main event again. This is a really late unboxing, so if you're watching this, I appreciate you finding your way here. Or if you're, you know, uh, mess with the channel, I appreciate that, too. Subscribing's free. Way cheaper than uh, any of your other subscriptions out there. So would appreciate it if you did it so here we go as pointed out in a lot of other videos um i'm gonna go over the details like it's more i'm gonna give my take on it for if you want details go to any of the other videos out there i especially um suggest like um former simpsons one was pretty good or uh the wear testers chris aka nightwing his was pretty good this is a flip on the usual jordan four box usually um this uh, cement prints on the bottom and uh, and the black is on the top. Here we got an example right here. One sec, incoming. Here's the, here's the black and red uh, cement fours from a few years ago, the 2019 pair. That's the box, so they just flipped it. And what are they calling these? So we're calling these the Air Jordan 4 Retros in Black Fire Red Cement Gray. But they are the of the reimagined re line of uh, Jordan. Let's see here, we got the speckled cement paper. And let's see these in hand now. Okay. I was really, really curious to get these in hand because I am not an all black leather uh upper shoe guy and i wanted to see like because this is a classic model right and i like the 2019 pair but that was that was new buck synthetic new buck and it had that matte feel and it wasn't this shiny glossy well i don't know if it's glossy but it wasn't a you know a shiny black leather finished with a finish on it and i like those but i'm just not a fan of all black leather shoes you watch any of my other videos with that in them like i always have to pause i, I returned the a cold wall air max pluses uh, I don't. I got the Supreme Air Force ones, but I haven't even worn them yet. I returned the Mystic Navy and Black Air Jordan One Lows. I am just not. I don't know. Just to me, the bl all black leather just reminds me of my uh, grandfather. And uh, even though he's a great guy, um, his his fits. You know, he, he dressed like a grandfather from the Northern Midwest. I, I didn't like him for his fit. His fits. I liked him because he was a cool guy. And so this just reminds me of a Walmart shoe. Uh, not this specifically, but all black up uh, leather uppers. Um, so I really wanted to get this in hand because I knew these would be popular. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to stick just to prove I am not a hype beast. I'm sticking to my guns and like I like the heritage behind this model. I like the Air Jordan 4 in general. I'm wearing a pair right now. My Union Desert Moss ones collabs. But this, I don't know, part of it too is I feel like the all-black shoe makes my foot look huge. I already got a big foot, and, like, this is a beefy boy. Uh, I don't know. I feel, we'll, we'll, we'll try these on quick, and I'll get them on foot, and we'll see. Uh, but, yeah. Now, really quick, I'll point out, uh, I'm not going to do this because there's a lot of other videos out there that do this, so I'm not going to, like, belabor the points. But I will pull out the 2019 pair. Now, some people say, like like me, for instance, I prefer the ones that look, key key point here, that look like the original better. Um, look. Now, I know in a lot of ways they, they aren't similar to the original. Uh, I know, uh, for example, uh, apparently this has closer to the shape, etc., of the original. There's a lot of things about this one that are closer to the original. Also, some Instagram posts, I wish I could give them credit, points out that... The original was Durabuck, and all the one retro since are synthetic Nubuck. So there's a like difference in the material, and that this, if you take that out of the way, 
this one's actually closer to the original for all these other various reasons. Um, I don't know about that because to me, visually, aesthetically, uh, this one looks more like the original to me, uh, but I'm not an expert. Like this tongue thing, this is softer, this is closer akin to the SB Jordan 4, which I have to the, my side, I might pull out here in a second. This is stiffer. Um, I would love if they could just do a shoe like, you know, like a Pro Tro. Retro all the aesthetic looks of it like the original, but update the comfort and the technology. I would love that. Like make it look exactly like the original, but feel free to update certain things to make it more comfortable, more durable here. And of course that sometimes affects the looks for sure, but try to find that sweet spot, thread the needle between those two things. That's what I would love. And I know the reimagine line does a little bit of that, but here they are side by side, both 11 and a half. But here's a look at the, the backs. Um, here's a look at the uppers. They also did, I don't know if you saw a different, they're like switching it up a little bit on all these little details. They did the, the black hang tag versus the orange one on the 2019 pair. These little wings here are more flexible, just like the SB4s. Uh, these are a little bit more stiff. Oh, wait. These might be the same, actually. They're pretty much the same. I spoke too soon on that. I think they're the same. Um, but yeah, again, I'm not going to point out every little dif uh, difference. Like the upper shape, this is more scooped, you know, scooped towards the toe. This is a little bit more, you know, slanted. Um, here's the logos. What's wild to me is, you know, the, that pair where this, this, the patch was upside down sold for $17,000. That's crazy. That is, that is absolutely insane. Um, I don't know why anyone would do that. But yeah, so I think what I'm going to do with these is probably trade these in for the military blue fours when they come out, if I miss on them. Now, these are in that weird area. Yeah, this definitely has the shape of the SB Jordan 4. Yeah, let me, let me, let me pull one out really quick to show you side-by-side -side comparison. Again, we're not going to get too much in the de details, but these just seem like puffier, right? They got like more padding and same with these. And these were designed for skating, so it's weird that, to me, it's a little weird that they did the same exact thing. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, anyways, anyways, uh, yeah, this, this just looks like a, a puffier shoe. I like this way. I like these colors way better. Again, this is not a true ret retro, so that's fine, in my opinion. Um, or not trying to be. This one's kind of like, you know, taking the essence of the original, but new spin, which... I guess if it's a spin in my aesthetic, great. But if it's not, then yeah, of course I don't like it. Um, I was gonna say, this is in that weird zone where I hate. Uh, for people who missed out, it's hard to get the, like these on the secondary market are, um, people who are selling them are basically getting their money back. These are, in this size at least, they're going for around 300. So these retail for 215 plus tax shipping, unless you got them from Nike where you get the shipping discount, free shipping. You know, these, these are running people like 230, 240. And if you're selling these on StockX for like 290, 300, um, you're basically getting your money back. You're, you're net, you know, you're coming out 245, so like basically the same. So they're getting their money back. And, but if you're buying them for 290, uh, 300, you're paying like 350, uh, which is, you know, a hundred more than retail. So it's in that weird zone. I, my recommendation to you is try to get these a either used, um, either used like lightly worn. I mean, these should hold up great, right? Black leather will hide a lot of stuff. Uh, and then you'll be able to get them for basically retail, maybe even a little under or, uh, try to go person to person, find someone like myself who's trying to unload them. Um, again, like I said, unfortunately, I'm probably going to try to sell these to get the military blue fours when they come out. If I miss on them, uh, go person to person, or maybe, you know, if you got a cool, uh, resale shop, not a mall one, those things are crazy expensive, but if you got a cool resale shop in the area, maybe, uh, they might try to undercut stock X a little bit. They might have a pair for 275. 300 and then you're paying over retail but you're not paying 350 right you know um they got to make their money too so they probably paid someone basically retail for their pair who sold them they got their money back and then they're probably upcharging them you know if it's a good resale shop like you like them and and they you know they might be just selling them you know trying to make 50 bucks so that's my suggestion if you wanted these and you missed out i think a lot of people had good success though the the, the run on these was pretty big 
um, I think. I think a lot of people who wanted these were able to get them. So that's good. Uh, me, myself, I really wanted them uh, for a few reasons. Uh, one, to do for this channel. Two, to see them in hand, see if my suspicions about black leather remained the same. They do. Um, four, I just wanted to compare them to the, you know, the 2019s, which I do like. I do like the new buck version. Um, you know, and B, I didn't want to miss out, of course, if these like went for 500, you know, so wanted to get them as bank for, um, those military blues that are coming out, which I definitely, definitely want. Sizing, I would go true to size. 11 and a half fits perfectly. I can feel I'm not standing in them, but I can tell these these feel perfect. I will say these probably feel a little bit more comfortable than a normal uh, Jordan 4. Like these, um, again, this has kind of more the, the build of the SB4s, which were more comfortable when I did that uh, unboxing. Check it out. I haven't worn them yet, but I could just tell they were more comfortable and confirmed by everyone else too. They're more comfortable. So these have some of that same build and technology in it and I can feel it. Um, these things are just not comfortable. It's unfortunate about, you know, the 2019 pairs, the, the new buck pairs, are, uh, because I like that shoe. I like this shoe, but it's just, I know it's gonna be uncomfortable. So this is not for an all-day walker or an all-day standing shoe. This is for, you know, I guess going out to dinners, going out to sit down things or a quick trip out, um, showing up to a, a function, stunting, and then coming home. These are not an all-day wear shoe. Uh, yeah. But these, these much co more comfortable. Uh, again, don't love the look. So this is, let's see what we give a rating on these for. Um, because don't love the, I like the homage to a classic shoe. Um, some reimagines I mess with. I like the Air Jordan 3s. I, of course, like the Jordan 1 Chicago's. But this, this is a personal thing. I don't think they made wrong decisions or anything or judging anyone who likes these. But for me, uh, I just, we'd, we're entitled to different tastes. And it's okay if you like these. It's okay if you're like me and don't. Um, I wish also there was a little bit more storytelling with why they chose to do them this way. Why were they reimagined this way? I, you know, there's very little, like, they know these are going to sell. So like, why spend money, right? Why spend money on explaining the story? They, they only do that when they need to, you know, they might be afraid it might not sell when uh, they're doing a new silhouette. Um, so I wish there was more of a story on why they did these this way. I think, hmm. You know, I'm going to, seven for me on my rating scale, usually all the shoes, I buy all the shoes. I don't get given any shoes. So most of the shoes I'm getting, it's because I like them. Um, and they're, seven is a good shoe. And so most of my ratings are always seven and above. Uh, this, I really just don't love. So I think I'm going to give this a, I think I'm going to give it a six. And it's only a six because, again, the classic heritage of the shoe, like the model, like the silhouette. And I do like, you know, the 2019 version. I'd give this an eight and a half, but I really don't like puffy black leather like that. They are more comfortable though. So what did I say? Six? Do I go six and a half? No, we'll go a little above a six because these are more comfortable. Uh, we'll go like 6.25, 6.25 out of 10. Would love to know your guys' thoughts. I know most of you will like these. That's okay. Um, don't be mad at me, please, for not liking them. Um, it's all good. Uh, I think 6.25 out of 10 for me, but I would love to know what you guys think about them and were you all able to hit. Please comment below. More unboxings coming up. Uh, please keep the channel going if you want because um, daddy's running out of money and space. So if you want more videos, please comment, like, subscribe, do all the things. I appreciate you watching this video late.